Hello, this is Patrick W. Crawford from Muak Productions, and this is a short tutorial showing how to use the MC Prep mob spotting capabilities. So, in the 3D view, we're going to open up the T menu and go to the MC Prep tab after having installed it. You see there should be two panels. We're now focusing on the mob spawner panel. So in this panel, you should see all of the different mobs you have capable capability to basically spawn into your scene instantaneously. Let's just click on one of them. So we're going to start with the horse. If I just click here, you notice just like that, there should be a horse in your scene. Now, once we've added this horse, you should note the redo last menu down here has a couple different options. Firstly, you'll notice that you have this option to decide where it goes in the scene. Right now it's been defaulted to go to the cursor. You can also choose the origin or you can do a thing called offset root, which basically offsets the main bone of the rig to a different location. So if I undo that, just so I can add it back into the scene again, I'm gonna press add horse again. Now the other options you have here include, for example, the ability to clear the pose. So in the MC prep out on all of the rigs are actually pre-posed, but they're be by default cleared out. So if you clear this, then you just get, for example, a funky starting pose if you want that. Some animations, or some rigs I should say, such as the bat, actually come with some pre-animated capabilities. So I press in the bat, and by, again, I have clear pose turned off. If I just let the animation run, you see it's pre-animated. So that can be, for example, a useful thing. But if I don't want the animation, then I would just use clear pose, and then it would be all cleared out as you see here. Now, the other option you have here is just the drop down for the type of mob. So perhaps you clicked on the wrong button, you can just easily add different mobs here. It's very easy. So next up, I'm gonna show you how you can install your own mobs and rigs into this add-on. So you can go to a site such as BlendSwap to download your own custom rigs and mob files, such as here I have Notch from the Mr. Hairbrine trilogy. I'm gonna press download and then unzip the folder that comes out. I'm then able to go into the add-on under the according section that I want, such as in this case, a player mob, press the install player button. After pressing that, this file browser dialog will show up. Go over and press desktop, and then go to wherever your new unzipped folder is, and then select the .blend file, such as this case, the notch file. When I press install new bomb right there, you'll notice that it immediately shows up as another option under the player mobs. And when I press on it, you'll see that it actually appears in the scene. Now, one thing to note, and that's a general usability of Blender and rigs such as these, is that you see this little warning come up here saying auto run is disabled. That is due to a setting in Blender. So if you go back to file, user preferences, then over to the file tab, there's a little tick mark called auto run Python scripts. That is off by default. You actually want to enable this. This is what allows you to do things like sliders controlling FK versus IK rigs. Or if you don't know what that means, you note how in this little scene, if I move these bones over. So right now this is FK kinematics. If I move this slider down, it goes into IK kinematics, where I can no longer pose using the arm, but I pose using this tool here. Drivers are what allow this slider to work. And if drivers are disabled, as is on by default, this slider will not work. So just be aware of that. That's just a general functionality of Blender. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is the fact that some rigs are actually specialized and have their own custom uh, scripts attached to them. So a good example of this is the included VM Comics rig. So if I click on this rig, it will spawn it in. And this is a classic rig that lots of people will know and love, you could say. Um, but you also may recall, for those of you who have used it, that this rig usually has a UI panel that goes along with it. Well, that still works with this add-on. So you'll note in the N tab menu of the 3D view, if I scroll down after adding on this rig, you should see that the VM Comics panel does show up here. And so these are all controls or the panel that's connected to the VM Comics rig. So you notice as I click and enable different things, the rig is properly updated. So that works natively with the MC Prep add-on. Now, if you have your own rig and you want to essentially include your own script, the way you do that is a little bit more manual. So I'm gonna show that off briefly. So over here, you have the 
basically the window that points to where in your system folders the MC prep add-on files are. Try pressing open folder. That should open a folder to where it is. And if that does not work, uh, such as on Linux, that currently does not work, you can just copy this file path and navigate to that location manually. But under here, it should open the rigged folder. And you'll notice that, for example, under the player section, I have the blend file that has this exact name. I have a corresponding Python file that is also the exact same name. So notice if you wanna have custom Python panels that are included when you import a rig, even if it's included inside of this file, you have to save a separate version of the Python file that sits next to this you know, file in the rigs folder. So in other words, in here, from uh, VM Comics itself, you would, for example, have this Minecraft rig file here. What I would have to do is go to text, save script as, save it with the exact same file name as the blend file itself, save it out, and then I would make sure that I copy this new file into this exact rig folder, where it happens to already be. So that's just how you use custom rigs and um, custom uh, Python files, I should say. Now, one other thing that I will briefly show off is there's actually support for being able to use custom uh, folders and you know basically categories and use the non-built-in rigs and so forth. So you notice I just copied the rig folder to my desktop. Now I'm just gonna briefly rename the folders to different things that are very random and kind of doesn't really matter what. And I'll delete a few, just kind of prove my prove what I'm saying. So if I go back to new, and then go over to this section here. I'm gonna press this little folder icon, navigate to the new rig folder I created, the rigs folder here, and just to, again, prove myself, rig desktop, so you know that it's a different one, uh, pardon me there. So again, it's the rig desktop folder, and I'm just gonna press accept at this root level. Press accept, and you'll notice that the panel has updated according to the contents of that folder. So you see Astifaga mobs and player mobs has come up next and there's Cordyu mobs and the number of mobs in each has been updated because I deleted a couple. So this is a way that you can use custom paths to your rigs. You can, for example, use a local path if you wanna have a, basically a path that's right next to where you want your rig files to exist. So if you have a self-contained project and you don't want to use the built-in rigs, we have a modified version, for example, this is a useful tool. If you ever want to recover the built-in path and the built-in mobs, just press this icon right here. That will reset it to the ones that are under the add-on folder. So in a nutshell, that is how you use the MC prep mob spawning capabilities. If you're interested in looking at the prep materials or the mesh swapping capabilities, click on one of these videos here. And if you like what you see, then be sure to subscribe. There's a bunch of new changes coming and a new version of the future. So definitely check out for that. Until next time.